when you're buying things from the flower shop or the flower market, there's certain things you need to look out for just to make sure you're getting the freshest flowers you can possibly get. Well, the problem is when you walk into a flower shop, the nicest things are the things that are open. So all of these are at their best now, but that's not necessarily going to be good. When you get them home, they may be past their best in a day or two. Uh, take an anemone, for example. It starts off really closed, like this, and then it begins to unfurl, show its colour, open up a little bit, and then after a few days, it will be really open. And when you first come in, at first glance, these are the favourites. But you don't want to buy them when they're already that open because after a day or two, they're going to start to drop their petals, the colour will turn, and the best days have been at the market. You don't want to buy it when it's incredibly closed either because it may never open. So if the whole bunch is like this, you are running a risk that they might never open. So I like to buy things when they're just starting to show their colour. And you can see the petals are opening a little bit, the colour's really fresh and really bright, so you know they're in good health. And another little telltale sign to look out for is what colour are the leaves supporting the petals. So if they're fresh and green and vibrant and happy, chances are the flower is. You can't see this, but it feels really firm. If you take a flower that's a lot more open, the stem itself is more brittle. It feels like it's about to break. And from above, it looks great. The petal's really open, but if you get a little bit closer, all these little bits inside are starting to turn and go yellow. And actually underneath the flower itself, the leaves are going brown and curling up. So you know that could have been there a week before you're even buying it. If they've been sitting in a flower market or a flower shop for too long, these are often starting to break up and they start to change color. That's a good way of looking at things. I mean, if the stems aren't giving it away and the flowers aren't giving it away, another little trick is take a flower and then just hang it upside down and give it a little shake. And if bits start to fall off, then you know that the whole bunch is probably gonna do that. 